Hi, Cheryl here of Chair Yoga with Cheryl Todd. Today I have nine gentle chair yoga stretches and exercises for you that with practice can help relieve back pain and improve your mobility and your posture and keep your back healthy and strong. So you don't have to do all nine of these exercises at once. Which ones serve you best and just do what feels good for you today. So always listen to your body. Also, it's a good idea to check with your doctor before starting any exercise uh, routine. So grab a chair when you're ready. Let's have a seat and we'll get started. One more deep breath in, let it go. Raise your arms up now, the deep breath in and release it down. Good job. And now we're ready for our first exercise and probably the most important one to do or to practice any time and every time you're sitting. It's the correct sitting posture. Let's give it a try. The correct sitting posture is just to sit on your sit bones. And this is a practice because it can be a little tricky. So we're gonna come up nice and tall. Deep breath in, start to rise up from your pelvis and just like a string holding you up like a marionette. So raising up high, inhale. Exhale, release your shoulders down. Take another breath in, nice and tall. Exhale, release the bottom of your pelvis down. Good, and you might feel those two little points or bones at the bottom of what feels like your bottom, but it's actually your pelvis. So don't worry if you can't feel them yet. We're just gonna do a little pelvic tilt to see if this helps. So bring your pubic bone forward. Good, rolling over those sit bones. Maybe you feel them. Let's roll the pelvis back and then roll forward. Pelvis tilt, good. This is actually an exercise in itself, a really good one for the abs and the lower back. So just take your time. See if you can feel yourself rolling over those sit bones and then stopping and then maybe rolling around a little bit. Can you feel them? Two little points at the bottom of your pelvis, rolling the other way, rolling right on top of those sit bones. Good, okay, sit up nice and tall. See if you can feel those sit bones. I have another helpful way just in case you couldn't find those sit bones. So we're gonna raise our left hip up, so raising that left butt cheek up, and then taking your left hand, palm of the hand, and sliding it under that butt cheek, and then sit back down on it. Now, you might already be able to feel that. It's not a little bone. Okay, other side, so we're taking the opposite hand, sliding the palm under, good, and then sit on top of your hands. Start to roll around a little bit, good. And do you feel them yet? Oh, this is a great way to feel them. And we're gonna stop for a moment. So sit right on top of those sit bones. I hope you feel them. And then slowly slide your hands away from your bottom. Bring the hands into your lap and let your sit bones support you. When you find those sit bones, your posture improves and your lower back will get some relief. It'll thank you. So let's now close our eyes, inhale. See if you can feel those sit bones. Exhale and relax right on top of those sit bones. See if you can stay on those sit bones during the whole practice. Your posture already is improving. Good job. We're on to the second exercise now and that's extended mountain pose. So we're gonna take the arms down. Good, still sitting on those sit bones. Bring the shoulders back. Take the palms out so you're widening the chest and then slowly bring your arms up. Big deep breath in, inhale. Good, we're gonna get nice and tall. Relax your shoulders, we're just reaching up. Turn the palms out, exhale, float the arms down. So we're gonna give this a few more times. Turning the palms out at the bottom, inhale, rising up. Good, your spine is lifting. Your arms are lifting just as high as your shoulders will allow. Turn the palms out, exhale, float down, good. Now we're gonna do the real extension. So again, just turning the palms out, widening the chest, take the shoulders back. Inhale, begin to lift the arms all the way up. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, release your sit bones back to the chair, good. Keep your arms up, 
realigning the spine. Inhale. Exhale, relax your shoulders. One more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, turn your palms out and lower the arms down. Good job, realigning the spine. Wasn't that easy? Take your hands to your lap and we're gonna go on to the third exercise and that's cactus arms. And we're gonna bring the arms into what looks like a cactus. So this is cactus arms. The elbows are kind of straight out from the armpits, but if that's too much for your shoulders, you're gonna bring the elbows down a little bit. It'll still work. So as we inhale, we're gonna take the arms back. So feel like you're um, holding a tennis ball in between the shoulder blades. Take it there, oh, you're strengthening those back muscles. And as you exhale, bring it in. Good, so we're also stretching those chest muscles and that's what's really good for posture. Let's take the arms out and back, inhale. Exhale, bring it back in. And then one more time, inhale the arms out and back and hold it. Bring your chin back a little bit. The spine is strengthening. Those back muscles are strengthening. strengthening. Chest muscles are stretching, giving yourself room to breathe. Inhale, exhale, bring it back in. Good. Then we're gonna do something for the left side of the upper back. So take the arms back into cactus, inhale. And as you exhale, bring the left arm over toward that right arm. You don't have to touch, just bring it toward. Good, relax your left shoulder. Breathe, inhale, into the left side, upper back. Oh, we're opening up those deep muscles there. And then exhale, bring the left arm back to the left and take the right arm toward that left arm. Good, so we're not turning the body. We're keeping the spine nice and tall, inhale. Feel the right side of the back open up. Exhale, bring the right arm back to the right. Bring it to center, good, and relax down. We just did our cactus arms and you can feel little sensations um, that you opened up those muscles and you strengthen those back muscles. So now we're going into cat cow. So I have to warn anybody with uh, osteoporosis, this is a back rounding pose. So I'm gonna give you something else to do. So we're gonna take the knees out just a little bit. So maybe uh, as wide as the hips or a little bit wider. Find your sit bones, inhale nice and tall. Good, exhale, relax the shoulders. So if you have osteoporosis, you're just gonna bring the shoulders back and lift the chin. Good, and then you're gonna bring the shoulders forward and bring the chin down. So it looks like this. Inhale, shoulders back. Good, lift the chin. Exhale, shoulders forward, bring the chin down. One more time for osteoporosis. Inhale, take the shoulders down and back, and kind of lifting the chest and bringing the chin up. And exhale, taking the shoulders forward and dipping the chin down. And so you're gonna continue like that if you have osteoporosis. If you don't, or you might wanna do that because it feels so good, but if you don't, you might wanna try it this way. So as you inhale, you're gonna lift the chest, take the shoulders back, good, and lift the chin. So you're arching the back a little bit. As you exhale, round the shoulders, bring your chin down and round the back. So kind of hollowing out the belly as the back comes toward the back of the chair. So a couple more times. Inhale, come up, lift the heart, bring your uh, shoulders back, lift the chin, exhale, rounding down. Good, inhale, come up, just a few more, and lift the heart, exhale, round, hollow the belly out. One more, let's try it, inhale all the way up, lift your heart, send the shoulders back, exhale, bringing the shoulders forward, bringing your head down, rounding the spine. Good, inhale, slowly come up, and relax your shoulders down. Take your chin back just a little bit. Good, so when you bring your chin back, your neck is in proper alignment and you're kind of getting rid or um, taking away that hump that's in the back of the neck. It can form there overnight with the head down. Good, and then when you keep it down, it's gonna stay. So try to bring that chin back a little bit anytime you're sitting. Okay, so we're coming into stirring the pot now. And stirring the pot is really good for the lower back and the abs 
and the hips, but I want you to be really careful with this, especially if you have lower back pain. And remember, through all of these exercises, it's okay to stop anytime you need a break, but stop if you're in pain. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take the legs out just a little bit wider. Find your sit bones, come up nice and tall, send your shoulders back, bring the chin back a little bit, inhale with a straight back, go round your back, exhale, hinge forward from the hip creases just a little bit, we're not going deep, and then we're gonna slide over to the right, good. Roll back if it feels okay, just a little roll back, good, you're gonna um, suck your belly in as you're rolling back, so bring your belly back, a bit, belly button back, to hold your belly in place and then roll over to the left and then roll forward again and we're just going to start to make little circles so inhale as you come back bring the belly button back toward your spine to protect your lower back sliding over to the left and then forward again inhale come up tighten the belly exhale roll to the other side and forward and then a couple more times inhale Strengthen the belly muscles, exhale, let it go, come forward one more time, all the way around. When you do these, you wanna go really, really slow because it is affecting your lower back. So when you come forward, we're gonna realign the spine, don't hunch your back, it's a straight back. And then we're gonna slide over to the left and then roll back, tighten the belly muscles and then over to the right and then forward again, and just a couple more times around. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, coming forward. Good, just notice how it feels. Remember, if it causes pain, it's not for you. It's not good for you to suffer through these, so just do what you feel is best for you. We're coming forward again, straight back. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale and relax your shoulders, good. And then bringing the legs back to center, wonderful. Okay, now this is a seated twist, and again, for anybody with osteoporosis, you want to avoid these twists. So I'm gonna give you something else to do again with this one. So for osteoporosis, you're gonna keep both feet on the floor, taking your left hand over to the outside of that right leg, Good, and just bringing the right hand to the uh, right hip. Good, now square your shoulders forward first. And you might wanna do this even if you don't have osteoarthritis because it's just a nice gentle way to do a tiny little twist. So inhale, coming up, good. Exhale, turn your head to the right, good. And just stay right here, inhale, and exhale, good. Inhale, bring the head back to center. Exhale, relax. So that's what you're gonna do for a twist. Let's try that on the other side. So coming up tall, taking the right hand over to the outside of the left leg, and then taking the left hand to the left hip. Good, inhale, tall. Good, so this is gonna relax, uh, work that left uh, side of the back. Inhale, exhale, good. Take the head over to the right. Or, or over to the left, turning the head to the left. Sorry about that. Good, and then you can also take the right elbow back a little bit, don't twist. Good, just stay right here and breathe. And then exhale, coming forward, good. So we're not twisting really deeply in that. This is a little bit deeper for those that don't have osteoporosis. So we're gonna take the left leg over the right leg, good. And then we're gonna take the left hand back to hold the chair. So we'll give it a little support there and then we're opening up the left shoulder a little bit in the front. Take the right hand across the lap over to the outside of that left leg. Good, and you're gonna square the shoulders forward first so we have a nice straight spine to start. Inhale, tall. Good, as you exhale, gently twist to the left. Good, gently, good. Slow twist, good. And then when you're, you get to where you're comfortable, relax your shoulders, nice and tall, inhale. And exhale. Good, another deep breath, inhale. Make sure your spine is tall, don't slouch or slouch. 
And then as you exhale, slowly begin to unwind, bringing that left hand forward with you, and then taking the left foot right back down to the floor. Okay, now you might feel a little sensation on the right side of your back, and that's normal. We're gonna take that uh, right leg over the left leg. Now we're gonna go the other way. So right hand back to hold the chair, opening up that uh, right shoulder a little bit, or maybe even hugging the chair with that right arm if that feels comfortable for you. Square the shoulders forward first. Take the left hand over to the outside of that right leg. Good. Square the shoulders. Inhale tall. You wanna keep that tall spine as you twist. As you exhale, Twist the lower spine first forward, and then the middle spine, the rib cage, and then the chest. So it may be doing it three parts, noticing how it feels. Good, inhale, and exhale gently. So if you feel like you're going too far, you can back out a little bit, inhale, and exhale, relax your shoulders. One more deep breath in, inhale. Exhale, slowly unwind forward. Bring that right hand forward with you and then lower the right foot down. Good job. Take a deep breath in, realign the spine. Exhale, relax your shoulders. And we're on to number seven already. It's a combo knee to chest and a hamstring stretch. So just be mindful of how it feels to you. We're gonna start out nice and tall. Inhale, bring the right knee up, and then grab below the knee, not on the knee, but below the knee with both hands. Good, and then just lean back a little bit. Let gravity take hold. So you're stretching the upper back a little bit. Good, and then you're gonna come up nice and tall. Inhale, bring the chest toward, bring the knee toward the chest. And then exhale down, good. Inhale up, knee to chest, exhale down. Good. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Now this is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to inhale the knee up. Let it go. Hold your chair and then lower the foot all the way down so the heel touches the floor. And you might have to come up a little bit. So you don't want the leg straight. The knee is soft. We're going to hold on to the chair. Lift the chest. Keep up your spine nice and straight. Don't round the back. As you exhale, Hinge from the hip forward, good. Wonderful, and you're gonna feel that tight hamstring. Maybe it's not so tight for you, but I can feel mine. Inhale, exhale, Ooh. inhale. And this is taking the pressure off your lower back because when your hamstrings are uh, uh, tight, that stores tension in the back of your leg, and that grows into lower back pain. Inhale, slowly come up and bring that foot right back into center. We're gonna raise that knee up again into the chest and lower the foot down. Okay, other side. So now you're taking the opposite knee up and you're holding right under the knee, never on top of the knee. Good, you're gonna let it uh, give you some traction here. So you're gonna take the knee out and bring the shoulders back, the arms are straight, inhale. Exhale, good job. And then come up nice and tall. Inhale, bringing that knee toward the chest. Good, stretching the lower back a little bit, giving it some release, the relief and release. And then exhale, release it down, good traction. Inhale, come up. Exhale down, let's do it one more time. Inhale, come up. Good, here. let's hold that knee up then. And then grab the chair. Lower the leg down so the heel hits the floor. You may have to readjust. And then we're gonna hinge forward from the hips or the hip crease, so come up tall, inhale. Exhale, slowly hinge forward from the hips. So come to your own uh, comfortable edge where there's no strain and there's no pain, but you can feel that stretch. Take a few breaths now, inhale and exhale. Good job, and when you're ready, inhale and come up and take that knee all the way back into the chest, nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, release the foot down, good, okay. We're coming into number eight now, and this is a piriformis stretch, so take a breath, inhale. Exhale and let it go, good. And so with a piriformis stretch, you're stretching the, the hips, the lower back, 
and that uh, piriformis muscle, that's probably the hardest muscle in the body to stretch. And we're giving that uh, uh, a little stretch now. So two ways to do this. You can take the left ankle over your right ankle with the left knee out a little bit, good. And then you can stay right here so this is a tiny little stretch for that piriformis. If you want to go a little bit deeper and you feel you can, take it easy, be mindful with this one. You're gonna bring that ankle over the opposite knee. Good, and relaxing that uh, left knee. Good job. Now you should feel that piriformis. Good, take it up nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, good. It's that little muscle that maybe you feel in the left butt cheek. And then if you want to come a little bit further and you don't have to do this, maybe you're feeling it already intensely. Inhale, exhale, and slowly hinge forward from the hips. Keep your back straight. Good, so you might feel it a little bit more. Keep your heart lifted. Good, come down to where uh, you feel it, but it's no, not painful. Inhale, exhale. Good, stay as long as you'd like. When you're ready, inhale and slowly come up. Exhale, relax that foot down. And we're going to the other side. So with the other side, you can start out with the ankle crossing over the opposite one with the knee out a little bit. Or if you wanna go a little bit deeper, you can take that ankle over the opposite leg. Good, and just notice if you feel comfortable. If it's not comfortable once you do this, bring that foot down again. Good, relaxing the knee outward. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale and exhale. And just notice if you feel it. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, take another deep breath in. Exhale, hinging forward from the hips. Keep your heart lifted. Good, so you can straighten that spine. Oh, this one's a little bit tighter. Inhale and exhale, good. The longer you stay in this pose, the deeper it goes and you can relax it a little bit deeper, just kind of surrendering into this with an out breath, exhale. And when you're ready, inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, relax that foot down, wonderful. Okay, we are on to our last pose. Finally, number nine, it is the posterior stretch. So let's stand up for this one. So I'm holding the, the uh, hands on the chair Remember your posture coming up nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, start to take a little walk back. Good, and just come back to where you feel comfortable. This is stretching the whole posterior of the body, the legs, the hamstrings, the back especially, uh, and the calves, the ankles. Good, so now I want you to just relax your chest down. And so you can feel this all the way down your back and down the back of your legs. Relax your head between your arms. Good, now if you wanna go a little bit deeper, you can bring the hips back a little bit. Good, stretching long. And then relaxing your knees, don't hyperextend the knees. Just let them be soft and relaxed, not really bent. Good, inhale. And exhale. We're gonna send the energy into the back to widen it. So inhale and fill your back with air. Feel it widen with the breath. We're going deep into those back muscles with the breath. Exhale, relax. Inhale deeply. Exhale, relax. Good, bend the knees just a little bit deeper. Good, and relax your tailbone. Wonderful, really stretching the back with this. Then slowly raise the hips up. Good, we're gonna to start to walk back to our chair. So keep your head down until we get to the chair. Coming up nice and tall, keep your head down. So with this one, you might get a little dizzy. You wanna make sure you're not dizzy. So start to bring the head up. Good, and if you feel that you're still dizzy, bring the chin back down toward the chest until that passes. Otherwise, bringing the, the nose back to center 
And good job, guys, you made it through. Now, if you can incorporate just a few of these into your daily routine, you'll be well on your way to less lower back pain, beautiful posture, and a healthy spine. I hope you found this video beneficial. Give it a thumbs up if you did, or leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Till next time.